Truth is the Ark of the Covenant buried in Ethiopia Watch who you fucking with a Minneapolis Somalian When I go home, the world I used to know is gone And I will live on my own For what shall it profit a rapper with creative control To sign a deal with the devil and lose his soul My stillborn first expression is cold Like the faces of slave masters on a paid by fold Subliminal racial supremacy choking me quick Like the bedtime stories of Joseph Smith Lynch mob gunning for me trying to murder my seeds So shorty put him in the Nile in a basket of reeds And now I stare into the future with a spiritual flashlight Wondering who the fuck was me in a past life Bad diet, fuck raw, die young, fast life Same as a crash flight that took off When the music died on your last night Tell them the truth and they call you a traitor Talk to them honestly and they call you a hater Losing my composure cause the message is urgent Talking reckless, drunk on the mic like Larry Merchant Cursing at the serpent, Sumerian demons Who brush their wings against the air that I'm breathing A heathen with nothing left to believe in Even a reason for living that was forgiven By God and not religion Envision Jesus risen from the dead like Horus In the Baptist church, shaking off the rigor mortis The border should be illegal instead of the people That were here before the Bible and all of its sequels I speak to the detached and unrealistic That were born normal but turned socially autistic We resisted Homeland Security's mission Because I know what they really envisioned I am the high in the sky When silence is betrayal. Dancing on the beat. Some of us who have already begun to break the silence of the night have found that the calling to speak is often a vocation of agony. But we must speak. Please, I'm asking, I need these questions answered. What happened to our species? Huh? What happened to the peace we used to keep with each other? Now we all attached to the TV. Can't believe we believe these things. Cracks me up. That's why I'm standing on the stage and I'm masking up. Finally have the guts to do what this country asks of us. And we got the blood of Martin Luther King to back us up. The truth is here now. Why can't you face it? Why can't you engage it? Why can't you embrace it? Huh? Why must you hate it? Why can't you take it? Why try and escape it? Cause it's the fear in your own mind. Stare in the mirror and you're scared in your own eyes. Yeah, these are lies that you caught in. If you ain't figured it out yet and realize I'm talking to you, I try to show you truth and show you what's real. But you don't wanna face it, you don't wanna hear me, you don't wanna see it, you don't wanna know instead. You just rather look I'm away. I'm talking to you, I try to show you truth and show you what's real. But you don't wanna face it, you don't wanna hear me, you don't wanna see it, you don't wanna know instead. You just rather look away. Facebook, no one's got the face in a book. Afraid to face the truth like blades, razors, and hooks. Don't be afraid, be brave, put out the flame with your foot. If everything that you've done has been created from love, then you've done everything that you were possibly capable of. It's amazing to hug a child who's never been hugged. Incredible to love someone who's never been loved, but was shoved in these positions. We don't listen to our own intuitions. We get tricked by the system, then we sit kids in the backseat to the doctors, crying to the visit. Of course, the child's naturally terrified of syringes. And he's kicking and screaming, he flicks the tip of the needle and sticks the diseases I'm on to you, I try to show you truth and show you what's real But you don't wanna face it, you don't wanna hear me, you don't wanna see it you 
orchestrate like coordinated orchestras. They monitor and orbit us. I'm warning and informing you. Pull your town's mouth away from these fluoridated formulas. The choice is yours or the course is to the coroners. These poor, beautiful little girls getting raped. And these departments are too scared to investigate. Yeah, they check the vows, skip the names of the pedophiles. It comes a missing, and the cases are never found. It's ridiculous. It happens so consistent that it's sickening. It's getting to the point where we start doing more than just picketing. We see the finger, and it's our face. They want to stick it in. That's why we will never forget, and there's no forgiving them. And while you, the silent ones, are just watching, we must speak and continue to keep marching. This is not something that we should just walk from. And where you going? Come back here. And yo, I'm talking to you. Trying to show you truth. A new spirit is rising among us. If it is, let us trace its movements and pray that our own inner being may be sensitive to its guidance. For we are deeply in need of a new way beyond the darkness that seems so close around us.
I'm sorry. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! <laughs>